Our clients would really describe our work as a very sophisticated yet relaxed feel. I would say a lot of our projects, they're very unique. So whenever you're looking at one of our jobs, they all are completely different. We are not a design firm that uses really the same products on every job. We really try to curate something really special and unique to our clients. And sometimes that includes using pieces that our clients have to make sure it feels like their home. I'm Laura Brophy uh, from Laura Brophy Interiors and I'm the Principal Designer and Creative Director. Today we are in Huntington Beach, California. Huntington Beach is a really cool city. It's definitely more of a casual, cool surf town. We love to bring really the environment into the home. The directive and the objective for this home was to create a very livable, a very carefree, yet beautifully designed space that is really the epitome of living in California, especially in Huntington Beach. Hi, welcome, come on in. When you first walk into this home, you are walking into the perfect entertainment space. This is a beautiful console. As soon as you walk in, love the texture. This is actually from our line and it's a beautiful oak and mushrooms, these teak mushrooms, they are a real thing these days. So beautiful books and then this Moroccan bowl where you can throw your keys. If you also wanna kick off your shoes, stick them in here. You can hide all of the things. So we like to keep our space very functional come into the family room. You see this beautiful sofa that we designed. It is a performance fabric, so you don't have to worry when friends are over. You spill, just blot it up. You have no problems. And this beautiful rug, very natural, sandy hues. It just grounds the space, very simple, with enough seating so you can hang out with your friends. One of the stars, I believe, of this home is this beautiful terrazzo tile from Ann Sachs. And it has this beautiful fluting. And as soon as this came out, I was dying to use this material. So we wanted to find a really special place and thought that the fireplace was the perfect spot for this beautiful fluted stone. And it's actually pieces of Italian marble and it also creates this really unique textures. We have some shelves, we also have a little bit of storage and one of, another one of my favorites is this fire extinguisher, Don Perignon. We thought this was so cool but it's not only like just for looks, it's actually functional. So if you did have any issues, there's your fire extinguisher. We are in the dining room where you can see we have this beautiful black marble dining table. Two pendants that I think are perfect for this space. They have this beautiful marble ball on it and brass that's just super interesting. And then added a little bit of texture with these chairs that are very natural. It's really important that we always make sure our clients have privacy. So we frosted this just so that you don't have to worry about people looking into your home. Then we go into this beautiful kitchen where we used a lot of different natural materials. We did a custom chandelier for this space that just fit in so perfectly. On the cabinets, you can see we used fingerless poles. So we wanted to keep it clean and very simple. This is the encaustic tile by Kelly Wurstler that is inspired by the California coastline. What better material to use for this house since it is on the California coastline. And we just really loved the movement. 
the backsplash here, very clean and simple. So we just ran the same quartzite up the wall, did our beautiful plastered hood, and floating shelves that are just very beautiful to display some of the client's unique pieces, books, and a beautiful art piece from Visual Contrast. Now we are standing in the pantry nook, which is really a trend that we're starting to see more and more where we really need a space for our clients where they can stick appliances that they don't necessarily want to be out in the kitchen on display. So by creating this little nook in the back, we can hide all of those appliances. We have alcohol, we have glasses, cookbooks, and it's the perfect place so that your kitchen remains beautiful at all times. Now we're staying in the guest bedroom where we kept it really simple and beautiful. I always like to ground the room by putting a beautiful rug and this particular one is so soft on your feet. Simple nightstands with a book for reading. We also like to put a catch-all so for your jewelry so we have that on this other nightstand and under this one we have these beautiful leather ottomans so if you need additional seating. So now we are in one of the guest bathrooms and this one happens to be one of my favorites. I love the materials that we use. They're very quiet, yet you have a lot of texture through the pattern. And as you can see, we use this beautiful marble and then you walk in to the shower. This is the Savoy collection from Ann Sachs and it's one of our favorites. It's a crisp white. We designed it this small format to be a little bit more modern. The way we stacked it, it's very simple, yet it adds the perfect texture into your bathroom. Now we are in the primary bedroom where one of the most beautiful things is when you have a fireplace in your bedroom and then of course a TV so you can sit back, sit in bed, watch TV and have a beautiful fireplace. It just always sets the mood and with this one, I always say it's instant romance because you just hit a button and then you have the beautiful ambiance. We designed the spaces with these Lutron shades and the collection's called Palladium. And it's one of our favorite way to trade a home because we can design it, especially when we're doing these new builds, to be housed inside of the ceiling where you don't notice them. So if you are watching TV with family or you need privacy, you can just press a button and you have that instant lighting control. Then in here, we again grounded the space with this beautiful wool rug. And then I love white sheets and white duvets. It's always crisp. And then I love to add a beautiful um, coverlet in this design, we decided to keep it folded, very structured and very simple. One of the things I feel like too many pillows, it's just too much at night. So in here, we have it very simple. Also in the primary bedroom, when possible, I love to use a beautiful statement light like this. It's a serene, perfect bedroom. We are standing in the primary bathroom and I love the simplicity of this. We simply used plaster, and this is a special waterproof plaster. So it's totally safe to get wet, you don't have to worry, and it just looks like you're on a vacation in Cabo. If you look up close, you'll see that we even added in, you have a little bit of sparkle. We have a beautiful marble countertop, again, something natural and clean. And then we wanted to also bring in more fluting, kind of like taking inspo from our beautiful Ann Sachs terrazzo that we used on the fireplace. We brought that in using wood and it's just a beautiful detail. And in here, we wanted to have a little bit of that jewelry look. So we use this brass hardware, very clean, very simple, and just adds a little bit to this space. We did larger mirrors with just one sconce in the middle to break it up and you walk up to the bath where we did the whole tub surround in a beautiful 
um, marble like we used on the countertop in here. And then the water comes out almost like a river. It's very calming and very serene. So this is definitely the fun room being the game room and you've got this awesome um, game table that's really made for a multitude of different kinds of games so you can hang out with your friends, play games, you have coasters and it's just a super functional piece. And then of course you've got to have a TV where with this one you can actually sit outside as well. Perfect place to hang out. So now we're standing at the bar, which is on the third floor, and it's perfect because you don't have to run downstairs to make a drink. You can do it up here in your game room. And in this space, we used also a natural stone. We have the Blanco sink, which I love. It's a sill granite, it's black, and it's great, super durable with our little bar faucet. You have the perfect spot to mix drinks. We also have a beverage center here and shelving that really can display your favorite alcohol. One being we love Salento. We love that our client loves it too. So we have this beautiful tequila bottle. We are in the bathroom that is on the third floor and I absolutely fell in love with this tile that has a lot of texture in it and I hope that you can see it because in person it is stunning. And we had that matched with the plaster that's again, the waterproof. And I'll go ahead and go in here. You can see again, we have a little bit of that sparkle and it's just a very clean, feels like you're at a resort. So if you're really not big on games, that's okay. You can leave your friends in there, come out here to the rooftop deck where you have this gorgeous view of the Pacific Ocean as well as Huntington Beach, all from up on this beautiful deck. This is pretty much where I think I would be at all times. The end result of this home is a beautiful coastal modern home that is livable, that is fresh, that's also timeless while it's also not boring. Our clients would describe our work as centered around them. Our firm philosophy is that we are very client-centric. We don't have a just universal Laura use style. All of our projects really resonate with being classic, having a lot of contemporary elements, very sophisticated. We have a strong use of color. There's kind of some edgy elements in most of our projects. We're light, bright, bold, and contrasting and a little dose of moody drama here and there yeah. is never a bad thing. We love a romantic moment. We're collaborative, we're a collective, and that means there are many brains on their project instead of just one. I'm Laura Umansky. I'm the founder and CEO of Laura U Design Collective. I'm Shannon Smith, Director of Interior Design at Laura U Design Collective. Our firm is based in Houston, Texas. Today we are in Houston, Texas at one of our projects in University Place. West U is a beautiful place. It's its own nook. It's its own incorporated city right in the middle of Houston. The homeowners are California transplants. They moved to Houston with their young daughter and they really wanted their Houston home to feel California, coastal, just really comfortable and serene. Welcome, come on in. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted in the foyer, which really sets the tone for the home. You'll see this beautiful texture across all the walls of the foyer. We've done this gorgeous Philip Jeffries silk wall covering. And from there, we'll move to the study. In the study, we've got this gorgeous smoky blue paint. So this is something we like to do to really make the space more elevated, more masculine. We've got these great doors that will close off for privacy. And this really sets that coastal tone. You can see he's got some of his previous artwork from Pebble Beach. 
And then again, we just integrate great textures with the decorative lighting, the lamp, planter, just woven throughout. In the formal living, again, we've repeated that gorgeous textural wall covering. This is again from Philip Jeffries. Drapery detail with that texture trim. Edgy, interesting chairs. We always like to do a pop of interest in every space. And then on the sofa, we have a family-friendly Krypton fabric. It is a little more elevated, a little more adult-friendly room, but we still opted to do family-friendly fabric. So if the kids come in, they can certainly pile on the chairs, sofa, and we don't have to worry about the fabrics. So in a formal space, especially one with this gorgeous silk wall covering, you don't want your standard, typical light switch. You really want to elevate all the details matter. So one of our favorite tricks is introducing this Lomax and Forbes light plate. So you can see it's got an acrylic plate that covers the wall covering, lets that still shine through. These beautiful brass details, so you've got the toggle switch, you've got these dials, and it really just elevates the room and gives it just a polished look without an obtrusive traditional switch. We are in the dining room, and so one of the elements that we incorporated from the client's previous home is this gorgeous table. So we definitely can incorporate existing pieces and give them new life. These chairs we did in this beautiful blue leatherette, so it's very easy to clean, similar to the wall covering. So you'll see we've got this gorgeous textural, looks like silk, but it's actually vinyl. So it's cleanable if some wine, children, anything goes awry during dinner, easy to clean. And then again, introducing that texture element that we have throughout the home with the beautiful fixtures. This is something we like to do with dramatic statement lighting is do dual fixtures. So something unexpected beyond your just traditional single fixture. In the kitchen, so the first element you'll see is this really beautiful, softly plastered vent hood. So originally this was a massive stainless steel structure and had two large scale pendants flanking either side. So we really softened this up, getting away from the more French aesthetic, bring it into that softer California coastal vibe. You can see we integrated a farmhouse sink. These cabinets were a really dark stained wood. So really to bring in that light brightness, we painted them white and then a statement contrast on the island. In the kitchen, we didn't really necessarily change any of the functionality, but really updated all the finishes cosmetically. So we needed to bring in that California coastal vibe. One thing we integrated that we really like to do in kitchens to elevate them is do panel fronts. So originally this was a stainless refrigerator. It's now blended in with the millwork and also has these really large scale brass poles. Uh, that's another trend. Another thing we like to do is mix metals. So you'll see we've got gorgeous brass poles throughout the kitchen. So now we're walking into the family room, which is really the heart of the home. You'll see throughout, we updated these floors to this warmer wood tone and pulled that through to the built-in. So we really did a lot of renovation work in here. Uh, this was a completely different fireplace and built-ins. So what we did is incorporate this beautiful wood frame, much cleaner fireplace mantle detail. I gave them these new built-ins. We actually completely dimmed this wall to give it this softer arch moving away from the traditional French that it had before and flanked it with floating shelves, mesh brass detail. And then again, we incorporated the hardware that you see in the kitchen over to the built-ins. And then one of my favorite chairs in the space are these behind us with a gorgeous rope detail and a camel leatherette to just really bring a lot of warmth to the space. This gorgeous statement fixture is really the star of all of our lighting throughout the home. When you're incorporating a dramatic fixture, one thing to think about is both the scale and the weight. So this has a really large overall scale, but it has a lot of lightness to it, a lot of movement. So it doesn't feel overpowering and doesn't feel heavy in the space. Another signature element is the floor covering. So we love to layer rugs, especially in a family room. So we've got a broad loom, so this really beautiful wool durable surrounding the room, and then layered this vintage Keelum rug on top of this. 
So we are now in the stair gallery. So this approaches from both the front door entry as well as the owner's entrance off the garage. So this is really a great landing space. We did this beautiful table. It's a great drop zone, really elegant statement accessories, stools. The clients can sit them, put their shoes on on the way out the door. And then an additional element we incorporated was this gorgeous stair runner. So this is something that we do in most family homes. It really helps with sound absorption. As children are running up and down, pets, it helps them not to slip and slide. So it's a safety and also a sound enhancing trick. In the primary bedroom, you can see it's very serene, really soft palette. This is just a serene escape for the homeowners. On the second floor too, so it has a lot of privacy. And we've incorporated a lot of our favorite pieces and vendors in here. You've got, again, a beautiful statement textured chandelier. The headboard is large scale, really dramatic statement on the window wall. We've layered a lot of texture in here. So we have a gorgeous Maya Romanoff wood veneer wall covering. Again, all the details, the drapery all has that fine trim detail, soft goods with just a touch of the blush that's woven throughout the palette downstairs and bringing that up into the primary. The primary bathroom was definitely one of the homeowners areas of focus, so they definitely wanted to invest in the space. You can see all these gorgeous finishes throughout, so we updated counters, backsplash in this elegant marble tile, really large format, beautiful flooring, and then a brand new tub. So we really kept the bones just with the millwork, but updated all the finishes to give them that really elegant, really sophisticated primary bathroom. So you've got this gorgeous tub with the tub filler, a statement chandelier above. You'll see we have the shades for privacy. And then my favorite element is this Ann Sachs backsplash. Ann Sachs is a go-to for us all the time. Personally, for me in my own homes and for our clients, our team loves Ann Sachs. I've been to their headquarters in Portland and actually met with their creative director and seen the innovative thought process, the creative that goes into all of their new launches and how some of their tried and true lines were developed. So I've seen behind the curtain and how things happen and it's really inspiring. So I feel good about working with them all the time. This is the Kelly Wurstler Liaison. It's a marble mosaic and you can see it's got all these really beautiful colors. So that's what makes it really unique and special is you've got a lot of the blues and purples, which are really rare. It also brings in a lot of our warmth and just that overall clear, crisp, clean palette. You can see the overall lines are very simple, very clean. And then this is just your dramatic showstopper. We've got both his and hers that have that dramatic wall. And then it's also incorporated into the shower is a band that ties in with the backsplash. The end result of this project is a really cohesive, story of California coastal moves to Houston. Everything has a common thread and it pulls that texture and tonal nature of our fabrics and uh, wallpaper and rugs through the entire home. And it creates a home that the homeowners are so excited to come home to and celebrate with their family. Studio Thomas James varies greatly. One thing that you're always gonna see is a lot of attention to relating back to the architecture. A lot of work on the architecture in the very early stages of the project to sort of get the bones right. Scale and proportion are kind of the unifying elements that are always present in our projects. I'm Philip Vanderford, the principal designer at Studio Thomas James. Our firm is based in Dallas, Texas, and we really do work all over the world. Today, we're at one of our client's houses. The fun thing about this particular project, it's actually the fourth house that we've done for this particular client. But they needed like really casual places for the family to like have fun and they were indicative of their young children. But then they also needed their grown up entertaining spaces. 
and then transitional spaces that were for like just a casual evening. So we really had three sort of dynamics that we were working with in this house. The client has a great backdrop. They have a really, really deep and interesting collection of art. The house is really beautiful when we first installed, but it's just kind of this continued evolution that's really, really makes this particular project, I think, special. We were able to change some things about the architecture, detailing both on the interior and the exterior that made it really specific to their needs. You actually see the entry from the street. So we wanted a piece of art here that really gave a lot of power. And so we ended up finding this um, Donald Martini piece that was in a really bright, saturated red. We created this um, wall-hung console that we executed in marble. And then we had a local rug maker here do a custom rug for us in a complimentary black and white motif. So for the living room, we primarily were going for like an adult entertainment space. Iconic, modern pieces mixed in with custom to get the exact scale right. And then we also mixed in art and um, sculptural pieces as well. A Ralph Lauren piece that's done in unlacquered brass and it has a deep ink colored navy custom walnut cocktail tables that we made just to get the scale perfect for the space. And then we also had the same manufacturer make a custom walnut credenza. We've also kind of mixed in iconic modern pieces, a beautiful print done by a British photographer that's kind of a playful moment in the room. For the dining room in this home, we wanted to bring some pieces over from their previous home. And so we actually had done this burl dining table for a previous residence, the Trove wallpaper. It's a really bold statement in the room. And then also with a contemporary um, hand done lighting. And so we really loved how this was an opportunity to mix some like vintage finds with new pieces. For the kitchen of this project, one of the main focal points is this beautiful Anne Sachs parquet mosaic that we installed, took it all the way to the ceiling, eliminated the sort of expected um, upper cabinetry and replaced that with really strong, vibrant art pieces. Really made it a space that doesn't just scream kitchen. And also, you know, it was a wonderful moment because you do spend so much time in the kitchen. We love the idea of giving you, you know, beautiful art as opposed to all cabinetry. And then in order to make this kitchen very functional, we sort of did this large wall of all of our sort of like function and um, storage and all of that sort of hidden and very secondary. And it allows you to really focus on the beautiful tile and the beautiful art. We actually did these built-in pieces with self-returning swivels. So it's actually um, keeps the kitchen looking perfect at all times. And they're a really big, generous scale that um, kind of counterbalances the large scale of the island. And so they're extremely comfortable. So this has become a favorite spot. Classic modern dining table in that and is really played off well by this new installation of this apparatus fixture. So we actually have an important Richard Serra piece. It's not hidden in the gallery where you're not all the time. It's, you know, very front and center. And we also incorporated some beautiful um, Holly Hunt upholstery, which again may not be the innate knee-jerk reaction for sort of a casual um, lounge area, but we thought it was really, really beautiful and we love the idea that this gets used every day. Welcome to the bar. The clients do a ton of entertaining. So we wanted a really strong, durable um, countertop material. And then we also wanted something elevated for the bar um, that had a lot of interest, but that also performed really well. So we went with this Art Deco inspired glazed porcelain by Ann Sachs. And because it, it being a glazed porcelain, it's extremely durable, but still has this really rich black and gold appeal. And it was such a beautiful backdrop for the con contemporary graffiti art. 
for the office, um, in this instance, uh, both clients work from home quite a bit. So we needed a space that was, uh, was beautiful, but that was also quite functional. So we did custom built-ins that um, we created that complement the desk that are packed full of sort of that day, everyday storage. Um, and we actually had found an antique desk that was not quite the right scale and proportion for the space. So we actually custom made this particular desk based on that, that style and came up with something really you know, beautiful, dramatic, and still made it functional for their needs. This color is Nightfall by Benjamin Moore. And the high gloss lacquer allows you to take a space that, um, or take a color that's quite dark, but because of the gloss, it actually still has a lot of light and a lot of life. And, um, you know, we were totally into the mix in this space. We have this, you know, hand knotted rug. We have a couple of um, vintage contemporary pieces. This is actually one of our most favorite spaces in the house. The homeowner really loves the space because with the opening of the doors, it just gives a great extension of the living space. And we furnished it with some beautiful Janice at Sea and Baker outdoor furnishings. We've incorporated these spun stools, little whimsical moment. We have this Twitter blue gorilla that's sort of a fun contemporary moment. So for the main powder bath, we started with this beautiful Anne Sachs mosaic. And with the scale of the space, we loved using something that was a little bit smaller and had a ton of visual impact. And we used that as a basis to create this custom wallpaper where we played with the scale of the fish and the color and we sort of married those things together. Quite often playrooms are the last rooms that are thought of when it comes to design. The family really wanted a space that everybody could, could come together and they wanted something that really felt well designed but that also functioned. So we have tons of storage. We um, created this sectional out of um, indoor outdoor fabric. So it's beautiful but it also um, works really hard for them. For this media room, we worked with Elliston Systems of Dallas and created this kind of magical space. So they incorporated so much great technology into this media room. And it has this beautiful ceiling that gives the illusion of stars. So one thing that we wanted for this room is to it really feel like an extension aesthetically of the rest of the house. David Hicks pattern carpet that was from Stark and um, really felt like that it set off the other kind of dark black accents. Using like a really bold carpet and something that's really strong and iconic is a great way to start to layer a lot of like solids and sort of functional pieces on top of it. So we're really always cognizant of making bold choices. So for the primary bedroom, one of our jumping off points here was this beautiful um, smoke wallpaper from Trove. And so that was sort of the first inspiration that we pulled from. And then we did these really, really interesting bedside tables and had those done custom. Based on the scale of the space, we just needed something that was really overscaled. Lots of texture and layering going on here beautiful metaphors, fabric, like a heavy, rich wool textured carpeting. Um, and then that really is a great backdrop for some of the um, contemporary art pieces, blue and white porcelain that we actually had brought over from a previous property that we had done together. With the volume of space and these big, beautiful windows looking right out in the pool, it's just sort of a magical moment and just feels really, really wonderful. And the way it's tucked around in the corner of the house, it really kind of creates this like great private oasis. For the primary bathroom in this house, we really wanted something that was a really special moment. So in looking for tile, we resourced this beautiful cube mosaic from Ann Sachs that's built up of a collection of Katia marble. It really is this sort of like beautiful, unexpected moment. And we decided to take the material all the way through into the shower, 
on the back accent wall of the shower, upon the ceiling of the shower. And I think that's what really kind of makes this sort of this dramatic moment in setting an accent marble into the backsplash just to kind of play off that um, mixture of materials and play off the floor. We also had this tub done by Victoria and Albert. And so it also kind of played into our um, black and white tile and the tension between those two materials. What I like about this particular project is we have contemporary moments, clean moments, we have textural moments. It's not really overly slated in any particular design direction. So it feels natural and very easy with a bit of evolution. My clients would describe my work as a clean, modern, personal style. I am a small company, a small staff. They're hiring me because they don't want to be handed off to somebody else. They want the individual care and attention. And I want to develop that relationship with my clients so it's a long-lasting relationship. I usually have projects that go on for many years and in different phases, and, and that's what's so special about our firm. My name is Lexi Sane. I'm a Lexi Sane Design and the founder and principal of my firm. I'm based in San Francisco. Right now we're in Menlo Park, California and we're in a beautiful suburban neighborhood. It's just right outside of Palo Alto and San Francisco and we're in an ADU. Menlo Park is known for beautiful weather, beautiful summers, beautiful springs, really a lot of outdoor living and so they needed a space where they could have an indoor-outdoor living from the pool that we added on and the new landscaping we did as well with this project. Also they wanted to have this built so that when we decide to do their main house they have a place to be in while they're doing renovations and they wanted someplace cozy and livable and ready to go. I collaborated with Saw Architecture, a San Francisco based architecture firm that does projects throughout California, Hawaii, New York. They are just wonderful to work with. They have a fresh approach on design. They look at design with a eco-friendly lens. Everything is about incorporating nature elements, green elements into the designs. So I took the plans from Saw Architecture, which were already so great, and I talked to them about what they were trying to envision for this property and what they were trying to do, and I talked to my clients about it. What's your goals? What, are, what would you like? How do you want to live in this space? And from that, I collaborated with Ann Sachs and got all the pieces together to kind of finish the space, make it livable inside outside pool living to make it perfect for the clients. Hey guys, welcome to the Menlo Park Pool House. Here we are in the entry and kitchen that leads you right into the kitchen. We chose for the floor tiles the Ansac Basilio and Oyster. The true reason I chose this tile specifically is I love the large size of the format. It emulates the concrete outside in the large format. It's a 24 by 24. It looks like stone, but it is porcelain and it's very durable, easy to clean, easy to maintain, will look great forever, even when dirty. In the kitchen, we did a beautiful dark cabinet wall with the contrast white oak and black hardware and white countertops with the waterfall edge detail to give this kitchen kind of a little bit more vavoom, but still feels very open and beautiful. The tile backsplash is a terracotta by Ann Sachs. It's the Iris Collection in white. And what I love about this tile is that it has the terracotta comes out into the glaze, so the colors kind of are a little bit different on each tile, 
but it looks very natural, it's handmade, it's beautiful, and it just kind of gives it a little bit of softness into this very modern space and gives it a little unique character. As we walk out of the kitchen, we walk right into the open concept living room that opens right into the pool area. We chose easy living, simple couch that folds out into a sleeper sofa so for guests and overflow. Cozy stools when people are entertaining in the kitchen and have this whole space is basically allows anyone in the living room, in the kitchen, and the outside all to mingle all at once without feeling constrained to one spot. When designing uh, a small space, I have two recommendations. One, start with something that you love. Start with an element, like a tile or a piece of furniture and design the whole space around that so you don't feel overwhelmed. Second, don't go too small with the details. Pick elements that are large, large tile, large cabinetry, large colors, in the sense that that will help make the whole space larger and not feel tight. As we move out of the living room, we find ourselves going towards the bathroom. So the feel in this bathroom was to make it feel very open and exciting, but not bland. I wanted to mix materials and show the client how easy it is to have a flow of different materials and textures. Here in the bathroom, I chose the Ansex tile in brulee. And what I love about this tile is it has so much character and expression. It doesn't feel dated. It feels modern and clean. And it pairs beautifully with the Anne Sex Savoy collection that we added to the vanity wall. This is the Savoy Ribbed in Lantern. And I love this tile because it adds so much texture and dimension to it. I love that contrast of the light floor with the dark wall and the dark light fixtures and mirror. And then on the shower side, we picked the Savoy tiles in Lantern. We have a penny tile in Lantern and the large stack tile in Lantern, also all from Savoy collection, which is a ceramic tile that comes from Japan. It's a beautiful collection. It's super high end quality, but it's very affordable and it's very usable in different applications. It just kind of gives the bathroom a little bit more emphasis on being important in the space and not just an afterthought. It gives the space and the client feeling like this was just as important as designing the kitchen or the exterior or everything else and it, it feels luxurious. And the final room that we're going to look at is our guest room and what is great about this space is that we designed it so that the space can be a flex space as well. This is actually a Murphy bed that goes up, but when we have guests, the bed goes down and is very livable with lots of storage. The flooring in here looks like hardwood floors, but it's actually tile. It's Anne Sachs platform tile. And it's one of my favorite wood tiles to use because it just looks so natural and clean. It's easy to maintain. It's also a porcelain tile. So once you install it and you seal it, you're done. You have nothing to worry about, no thing to worry about warping or anything like that, which is also a really important thing that I wanted to incorporate in a pool house. We don't know who's gonna be drying off their feet by the time they get to this bedroom space, so we didn't wanna have a hardwood floor that would potentially warp under lots of wet footprints. And we needed something that was gonna be beautiful and withstand the test of time of a wet environment. And you don't wanna make your space cookie cutter house. You don't want it to make it look like a developer just threw in something. You want it to make it your own. When designing your own home, I think it's really important to be brave in the sense that it's okay to mix materials. It's okay to change the design a little bit. It doesn't have to be, each base has to be like a certain way. It's more interesting to give them a little bit of something on different materials, a different, you know, different paint color, different style. That's what makes design more interesting. So this is a way to give yourself your personality in your space. I would summarize the end result of this project as a collaborative success between myself, the architects, and the client. It truly was a team effort, and I think we delivered a finished product that not only the client loved aesthetically and functionally, 
but it hit all my marks personally in that I want to deliver a finished project to my clients that is not only beautiful, but it needs to be durable, it needs to be unique to them, and it needs to stand the test of time. And I think we did that with this project. Clients hire and find White Elm Machete for their projects because we are so unique and different in terms of our design and also our process. We are pushing boundaries and being very innovative and I believe that we definitely have like a signature to our look. We don't like to follow trends. We really like to do timeless designs, but in a way that feels fresh and new. Our process is quick. Once we start a project, we keep that ball rolling to keep us excited and also our clients excited. I think that's really important to keep that excitement and that vision alive throughout the process. My name is Barrett Wydell. I am an interior designer. I'm co-owner of Wydell Machete based in Morristown, New Jersey. Today we are in my home. It's called Casa Alpaca. It's a French colonial home on the exterior. And on the interior, we gutted the whole house. We did keep a lot of the integrity of the architecture to the home, but we did really want to make it our own. And I had traveled to Europe, to France, and I was really inspired by the Parisian style. So I wanted to bring that into this house, but also make it my own, which is contemporary with that eclectic mix. We have an entire farm here with a lot of animals. So the house originally came with three, and those were alpacas, hence the name Casa Alpaca. And now we have 32 and counting, and we have donkeys and geese and chickens and goats. So it's a real experience when you come to our home. Not only are you experiencing a beautiful house and the interiors and everything that I have personally touched, but also the farm and the land and the property. It's just really magical. Welcome to Casa Alpaca. The feeling I wanted when you entered our home was to be impactful, playful, and classic. I think the star moment here are these guys. These are actually alpaca statues with true alpaca hair. As you can see, I have wallpaper on this back accent wall. This is by Porto Taleo. It's all hand painted. So it's true artisan wallpaper, which I loved. It gives me kind of that Picasso-esque art and I thought it was perfect to be a real statement when you walk in. It has a grand staircase, which is actually original to the home. Up above us, we have a custom brass light fixture by Neptune's Glassworks. I also have some really fun collected pieces over here. These are by True Artisans, and I just love how playful the shapes are. This vase has a face to it. It's all very conversational, and that's what I wanted when you walk in here. It's a taste of what you're gonna get at the rest of the home. So welcome to the atrium. This is my then place. Originally, this was actually a pond in here and it had two turtles. We rehomed those turtles, got rid of the pond, and then just created a space that we could actually like hang out in and use. I worked with a landscape architect who actually designed all of this dried moss that kind of flanks the entire space. There's no maintenance to it, so it's great, and it will just live here forever. This tree here has a real trunk to it, but it's actually faux leaves. So again, no maintenance here, super easy, and we've got that amazing tile by Ann Sachs, one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. It's porcelain. All my little kids are running in and out with their wet feet from our pool. I don't ever have to worry about anything with all the wear and tear. So this whole room was to be carefree, zen, earthy, and low maintenance. This is our formal living room. 
I wouldn't say that we're super formal in this house, so it still gets used and everybody sits in here. Behind me, you have a dual fireplace, and this is all the terrazzo that's fluted by Ann Sachs. I absolutely loved this tile and I felt like it just brought a lot of nature into the home. Walking around, we've got the most comfortable chairs and they are actually made out of alpaca fur, so they're super cozy. And they swivel, so that's like a lot of fun. This is an awesome plaster coffee table that was created by an artist and I absolutely love it and I just love all the different elements and layers to the table. It gives a lot of architectural feeling in the space. This is actually a custom sofa designed by us at Wydell and Bichetti, and it is covered in a performance fabric so my kids can spill anything they want on it and I never have to worry about it. Over to our right, I wanted to add a pop of color and space and unexpectedness. So this is an art piece by Jenna Carpell. She's awesome and I love her work, so I thought that this was really cute and fun there. Here we are in the family room. The most important thing in this family room was to create a very comfortable space for my family and all my friends. So you will see that we have a massive sofa here that everyone's able to curl up on. Above me, I have a hand-carved wood light fixture by Thomas Newman. They've only made, I believe, six of these in the world. So I felt extremely fortunate to have this piece in my home and I feel like it really grounds the space. Behind me is a art piece that was commissioned for me and I have something really special I wanna show you. At the time of moving in this house, we had three dogs, which two of them ended up going to heaven shortly after they were 17 and 18. And the artist incorporated both of my puppies into the art piece. So you can see one up there with the little ears, the two eyes and the nose. And then down below we have another two eyes, nose and ears. So it was really special and it just reminds me of my two buddies that were with us when we were living here. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home, and I definitely have to agree. This is probably the most used space in all of our house, and I just love it. I wanted to create, again, something very timeless in here, so I went with a more Scandinavian design element. Everything is paneled in terms of our appliances that can be, so everything is very clean and classic. This stone that I chose is a leathered, an antiqued leathered Taj Mahal, and so it's extremely durable, and I love just the feeling of it. And I did a five inch miter to give it extra thickness. Behind me, we've got a custom hood that is in a brass patina, and this is really kind of like the star moment of the kitchen. It's like the first thing that you see, and it really grounds the space. I just love it so much. I have some tips and tricks for when designing your kitchen and it's all about functionality. The first is utilizing that unused space. So over here, I have a complete area that could not have a full cabinet. So instead, we created an appliance garage to house some of those unwanted pieces that you don't wanna have showing around and you can just hide and utilize in this awesome space here. Also, panel all your appliances. These are all panel ready appliances. This is hidden, so you don't know that it is actually my refrigerator. And then another cool tip and trick, hide your paper towels. Nobody wants to see those. So I designed a hidden cabinet here to house my paper towels. So they are always in their home down here. This is our kitchen dining space. This is the most used table in all of the house. We eat all of our meals here. 
This table was actually created for me by Aronson. I was the first person to have this stack table. As you can see, the stack of legs underneath. It's just such an artisan piece. And then I created uh, the banquette that I'm sitting on here so that everyone can sit around and enjoy conversation at the table. And again, performance fabric, so spill the food, eat it up, you don't have to worry about anything. And again, we have another Anna Carlin light fixture above. I just absolutely love how it suspends from the ceiling above the table. Here is the dining room. If you didn't already know or couldn't tell, but pink is definitely my favorite color, so I have touches of it throughout the entire house. One thing that we actually kept when renovating the house was the ceiling. This is original to the home, and it's hand-painted to look like a patina brass ceiling. I loved it, so we used that, and then I played off of that ceiling. We love entertaining, we love drinking champagne and wine. So with that said, I didn't wanna have bottles and bottles of champagne and wine that were wet and drippy on the table. So I actually created a sink over here where we can put the ice in, we can put our pieces in there, and everyone can pour and help themselves here at the buffet. And then there's a drain so all the water drains down. All the walls in the dining room are Venetian plaster and they actually have marble in it. This took an artist an entire week to finish just this dining room. Here we are in the media room. This is where we watch all of our movies, sports shows and TV shows. I would say this is probably my kids' favorite room in the house. I really wanted something unique and special in this space, and that's where I displayed these concrete tiles by Ann Sachs. As you can see, they open up here, and there is actual light shining through. So that's where our electrician had installed LED strips and hardwired into the wall over top of all this wallpaper, which is sweet. I wanted something in our media room that acted as art, but also kind of gave that like movie theater feel. And these tiles were exactly what I was looking for. So it was just really fun to play with. It's not an easy install, having those tiles put on the wall and then trying to run the electrical through. But at the end result, it's so unique and it just really gives uh, the ambiance in that space. This couch is custom designed by us at Wydell and Bichetti. And I wanted to create something where you could literally sit on all sides of the sofa and see all aspects of the room and the house. So if you sit on this side, you're seeing outside to the dining area. And if you sit on this side over here, you're gonna see outside to the pool. And to my favorite part, which is our alpacas, you can actually see them outside this window right here. And it's the most comfortable sofa you have ever sat on. I think the first time I sat on it, I fell asleep within 15 minutes. I also incorporated a table in the middle of the sofa so that you could utilize that for food and drinks. And we also house two speakers in there as well. So again, super functional and seamless design. Don't tell my husband, but this was probably the only piece of anything that he had any say on in our house renovation. He had to have five TVs. He loves sports. He watches every game, every sport, all the things. So this is all for him. And then I also had commissioned an art piece for his birthday. This was created by Layer Cake. He's an incredible artist. My husband's favorite is James Bond. And so he created this piece knowing that James Bond was his favorite. And I think it just kind of plays off of who Chris and I are. This is the no kids allowed space, as you can tell. <laughs> so this is our bar. Uh, we created this to have our own club inside our home. When we were renovating this house, it was in the middle of COVID and nobody was doing anything and I still wanted to kind of enjoy my life, obviously at home. So that's where this space came about. 
It used to be the laundry room, and now it's our lounge and bar space. On all the walls here, this is the Kelly Wurstler Liaison Tile for Sacks. All of this brass shelving is done by Amu Neal, which I love, and it holds all of the alcohol in the space. And then another fun feature here is that we have these beverage drawers throughout the bar, and we can really house anything that we want in there, even food if we wanted to as well. Here we are in what I call my ladies lounge. When designing your home, I feel that it's very important that you find that star piece in every space that you design. Find something that's really important to you and meaningful when you're in that space. When I created this room here, I knew that this is where I was gonna be hanging out with all of my friends and entertaining with all the girls. So the star piece of this room is this custom designed neon sign by Name Glow. As you can see, these are two women's faces. And then around it is hand painted walls by Heather Josak, again, women's faces. So when you're in this space, you really feel like you're in a really cool, funky hotel surrounded by tons of people. And it's so conversational and it's such a fun space to hang out in. This is my older son Dylan's room. When designing the rooms for both kids, I really wanted to play off their personalities. Dylan is a sophisticated, old soul turning 10 year old. And that really reflects in the design here. It's very sophisticated and playful. I loved the subdued colors that we chose for the space. The walls were actually hand painted. We created this design to kind of mimic this fun fabric on the custom bed that we designed for Dylan. So I love this space. It's very functional for him. He loves this space. And at the same time, it's classic and it's clean. Here's Landon's room. Landon and Dylan are two completely different kids. Landon is the entertainer and he is the life of the party. And I felt like in his room, I really wanted to play off his bold and loud and fun personality. I created this bed for Landon when he transitioned from his crib to his big boy bed. I just love it. I love that it feels like a big cozy hug. And if he ever falls off the bed, I don't have to really worry about it. The wallpaper is wallpaper by Kelly Wurstler. Obviously love her, love the colors. And this fun light fixture is by Entler Studio. It reminds me of like a monster a little bit. One thing that I did buy for Landon when we first moved in here was this plaster balloon done by an artist in Israel. I just wanted him to have something that he could grow with and possibly pass down to his kids one day. So that is this piece for me. I just think it's really fun. Here we are in my kid's bathroom. The number one factor when designing this space was durability. I have two young growing boys and I did not want to think about the mess and constant cleanup. So this amazing porcelain tile that's on the floor and the walls by Ann Sachs was chef's kiss. The vanity was designed by us at Whitell and Machete. It's so cute with these half moon handles. It's a space that these boys can really grow into and it's still really playful. This is a gorgeous marble countertop with marble coordinating stone that completely frames this massive mirror. I just love how this space really came together. I love the tone, the color, and the feeling that it gives me when I'm in here. Welcome to the primary. All the walls in our primary are marvelous. It's a wallpaper collection by Philip Jeffries. This is where all the magic happens, right? <laughs> no, actually our bed is a custom size and a custom mattress so that we have our own space. When we first moved in here though, we had three dogs, two kids that still slept with us all the time. So we wanted to have an extra large bed and a king size just wasn't cutting it. I'm gonna take you to Chris's space. And yes, you heard that right, Chris's space. 
I feel like the key to marriage is having your own separate bathrooms. So we have that here in our bedroom. Um, before we go in there, I do wanna just point out, we love coffee. We have our own beverage center up here in our bedroom. So we have our built-in coffee maker. And then of course, we can't forget those beverage drawers, which come in handy. Here is Chris's bathroom. All of these walls and floor are the slabs by Ann Sachs that weigh so much that we had to reinforce the ceiling below. Over here we have his double vanity. Funny enough, his plumbing is called Bond by Waterworks, so that was very uh, fitting for Chris. We've got a gorgeous soaking tub in here and steam shower. That was very important to Chris. He wanted a steam shower, and I have to say that I actually use it all the time too. Welcome to my dressing space. So this is my closet that houses all of my things. <laughs> I love this space. I really played off of my personality and the things that I love. So you're gonna see a lot of pink elements, a lot of brass, and then you're going to see these awesome cranes behind me. This wallpaper actually was custom designed for me by Moth Paper. And this light fixture is now no longer available, but one of my absolute favorites by Roland Hill. And I just had to have it and have it above my island in here. So again, utilizing all of your space is key, especially in a closet and functionality. Behind my closet is the laundry room. So all of my dirty laundry goes right into this hamper, which then is accessed through the laundry room. How easy is that? I would say that I use a lot of different layers and textures and shapes here, but it's all in a very soft palette. I wanted this house to be very calming. I wanted to walk in here from a crazy busy day of owning you know, a business and having kids and having the farm to be able to relax in my home and just feel constantly inspired while I'm in the spaces. So each room has a moment and has a reason for the way that it's designed. People hire Vanilla Wood because we're really fun to work with. We're extremely collaborative. We're very approachable. Interior design, we really understand the entire process from the very beginning concept to the very end finish, which is something that saves a lot of time and money and headache for our clients. We definitely don't take ourselves too seriously. And I would say we really create personalized sanctuary. My name is Cricken Yaker. I am the principal and co-owner of Vanilla Wood. We are located in Lake Oswego, which is right outside of Portland, Oregon. We are in Southwest Portland in a beautiful residential neighborhood where there are a lot of ranch houses, one level homes, which is not always easy to find in Portland. And this is actually the second time that we have been working with this family because we worked on their first remodel years ago. Vanilla Wood got started with this project when our clients came to us and said that they were ready to do an addition and a remodel of their home. The house in its previous incarnation when we had worked on the project before had much more of a kind of Palm Springs mid-century vibe and the client really wanted to bring a more organic, sort of softer, more natural woods and a little less glam. So this time around we pivoted and I think we really delivered with the infusion of textures. We kept the palette really neutral with the contrast of the dramatic black and that sort of plays out throughout the house. So from the minute you walk into this space, you can just feel how light and bright and airy it is, which is something we really love about the house and definitely the homeowners do too. 
the floor to ceiling windows that you see throughout the house. Here's the formal living room where you're open out onto the pool where we did this rose gold mirror, which is, we always joke, it's sort of like the perfect filter for your face, but it gives a sort of tampered down mirrored effect and makes the room feel bigger and really bounces light and is just a great design element to any space. Doing custom casework in the space allows you to feature your story. It's curated to tell your story. It has objects, it has photographs, and really you can see from the beginning what the color palette of this house is, which is just a lot of texture and different materials, but in a very creamy, earthy color palette, which we love. And then we walk through to the dining room, which features this custom handmade macrame rope installation. We love doing a mix of not only paintings, but textural, sculptural art pieces for installation. And we're really in love with this rope. It's really soft, it's really unexpected in, in the evening. And actually in the daytime, it creates all these really cool shadows. One of our favorite features of this house is this custom wallpaper by Drop It Mod, a locally owned, women-owned business, which is something we always look to collaborate with women-owned businesses. And we created this custom color, which is now called the Vanilla Wood Color for this project. Our client was really clear that she wanted something really soft and organic, and Drop It Modern really delivered. This is a custom table that we used a porcelain slab that has a marble-like feel, which is just cool. It has movement. And then we brought in some organic texture with the um, rattan on the chairs, keeping it light and bright. And like a lot of contemporary homes, this is all open plan. So you come into the family room, that has the stunning fireplace with the custom black and sax tile, which was something that we wanted to incorporate something really dramatic to ground the space, and Anne Sax really delivered with this cool tile. I think one dilemma when designing a space is what to do with the proverbial giant screen, flat screen TV in every house. So our solution to sort of visually hide the big flat screen TV when it's not on was to select a blackened reclaimed wood from a company here in the Pacific Northwest that deconstructs old buildings and reuses the wood and gives it a special charred wood feature. We love the idea of using reclaimed materials, but when the TV's off, it really visually just kind of disappears. Otherwise, it becomes the dominating sort of visual that nobody really wants to see, but everybody really wants in their space. So just a trick of the trade. One of the requests from the client was they wanted an indoor play space for their young children. And we get a lot of rain here, so playing outside isn't always a fun option. So this really cool indoor playroom was added, which is every kid's dream. One of the things we learned when doing our own house, when we created a space, because I have three boys, was that when you have an indoor play area and you have these beautiful walls, Balls and kids are going to destroy it. So we were able to source some white gym mats, which are basically padded walls for this space. And balls can be thrown at it, and you don't have to worry about your kids just having at it in here. We've got a basketball hoop. Bikes can be ridden in here when it's raining outside, but it's completely light and bright with these beautiful windows. If you flip around to the beautiful kitchen, we chose an organic looking light fixture to sort of ground the kitchen and add a little bit of warmth to all of the white. And then further along, we walk into the eating kitchen, which is where the family gets to enjoy a lot of their meals. And 
We're continuing with the theme of the black and the light wood. We have a hidden beverage fridge and a hidden ice maker here. And we wanted to do something really cool and dramatic on the backsplash, so we chose this handmade concrete and sax tile, which just gives it this really cool pop. And what's really cool is from the courtyard when you're outside, you look in and you see this like very dramatic moment and it flows right to the outdoor space, the covered barbecue area. Having a covered outdoor barbecue entertainment space is something that really exploded during the pandemic. Obviously here in the Pacific Northwest, we have a lot of rain. So having a covered space is imperative. So here we have this really cool barbecue outdoor kitchen. And then one of our favorite spaces in this whole house is this outdoor living room with this incredible fireplace that we used this awesome three-dimensional tile. Again, with the texture, but keeping with the same color palette. But this is probably one of my favorite spaces in the whole house. So we have space heaters up in the ceiling. We have really cool, very comfortable outdoor furniture from Harbor Outdoor, one of our favorite outdoor furniture vendors. This is a custom fire pit that was designed to create another space outside using Brown Jordan outdoor chairs, which again, the color palette throughout the house is uniform and the same, but there's a lot of visual and textural interest everywhere you look. But if you're looking for me, I'm gonna be right here, staring at this cool fireplace, hanging out on this sofa. So as you can see, this outdoor space is incredible. There's so many places to hang out and entertain. We have a putting green over here. Using turf has become really popular, especially with all the rain that we have here. It just is evergreen and there's low maintenance. You don't need irrigation. So more and more people are using, especially in drought intolerant states like California, turf is becoming the de facto grass in all residential projects. There is plenty for every kid to do out here, including a basketball hoop. There's space to kick balls. And then you can see that there is the guest house and the main house, but they're really tied together by this exterior outdoor courtyard, which is pretty dope. So now we're in the casita, which is separate from the main house. This was new construction. This allows for the clients to host guests or for future parents to age in place, which is something that more and more clients are asking for. Because it's just secondary space, we went with really simple, affordable surfaces in the kitchenette. But one of our favorite features is the lime plaster on this wall right here. Lime plaster is becoming very popular and there's some really important reasons why we love to use it. One, it has this really beautiful organic hand traveled effect, which we like to say it's kind of like a warm hug, but it has sound dampening properties. It also helps purify the air, which are all really important properties to introduce into a living space. So limestone plaster, we love to use on fireplaces, but more and more you're seeing it on all the walls uh, in houses, which is beautiful. Powder bathrooms are a place where we really like to be bold and have fun and use wallpaper because what else are you doing except for hanging out in the bathroom and this is not your bedroom where you're trying to sleep and create like calmness. It's like the jewelry of the house. This is the primary bedroom and we wanted to create something around this really beautiful mirror that is from Bali. It's charred teak wood and it's really just kind of the central feature of this bedroom. 
So we kept the palette really clean and a mix of black and white. The fireplace was a new addition during the remodel and this is an Anne Sachs tile that is handmade locally here in Portland. And it has just a really cool texture and visual interest, but still keeps a really clean palette. And then we did a little bit of movement on the rug, which kind of creates a coziness for the whole room. We did a custom bed with a beautiful linen fabric and kept the whole color palette in here really sort of muted and soft. The original design of the house had this interesting sort of pony wall that was open. And in order to give a little bit more privacy to the bathroom, we added this frosted glass wall. We didn't want to do like another drywall wall because it felt really sort of boxed in. So this was a cool way to create privacy, but keep it sort of visually feeling open to the space. We added this cool makeup station so that there was a space to sit down and relax and put your makeup on, which who doesn't want that? And then in the bathroom, we introduced a natural stone from Ann Sachs and this really cool dramatic textural tile in black to create just this real wow factor with a floating bench, which we love. And this double height ceiling with the skylights was original to the house. And we weren't really sure how do we soften the space. So we introduced these really cool lights that add drama and sort of a sculptural moment. I would summarize the end result of this project as something that I know the homeowners love coming home to every day. They say it, they're so appreciative and grateful and that just makes us feel so incredible because we know that we did our job and I know that they're gonna be making fabulous memories for years to come here and it feels good to be able to deliver that.